Welcome to the 5.3 warm up. We're going to start here by drawing rectangles using a ruler. Um, we've got a length of 3 centimeters and a width of 2.5 centimeters. So we're going to start with 3 centimeters and then I need to go 2.5 centimeters for width. It's going to be approximately like that, and then three centimeters, and then hopefully this is pretty close to two and a half. To do this completely properly, I should be using a protractor to get my 90 degree corners. Um, because as indicated here, these should all be 90 degree corners where this is 2.5 centimeters and this is 3 centimeters here. Next one, length of 43 millimeters, so that's 4.3 centimeters. So I'll start with 43 millimeters here. And then a width of 17 millimeters, so that's 1.7 centimeters. So 17 millimeters about right there. Another 43, trying to make that as parallel to the top line as I can. And then 17 here. And again, these are 90 degree angles. So the orientation may look different on yours. It could be up and down, but it should look like this proportionally speaking. Or you have it at an angle, and that goes for either of these. Find the area of each rectangle. It's question number two. So we've got eight centimeters here and here, 9.1 centimeters here and here. Single ticks indicate common size of eight centimeters. The double ticks or hash marks, I think sometimes people call them, indicates that these two sides are the same length. It doesn't show the 90 degree corners, uh, but you can assume that since we called it a rectangle. So, area of a rectangle is length times width, so in this case 9.1 centimeters times 8 centimeters. And when you do that multiplication, you're going to have 72.8 centimeters squared. Now remember, area is a unit squared, so in this case centimeters squared. Next up, we've got 3.4 meters by 1.1 meters. Start with our formula. Length times width gives you area. So in this case that's 3.4 meters times 1.1 meters. And when you do that, 3.4 times 1.1 gives you 3.74 meters squared. And again, this is meters times meters, which is why it becomes meters squared. All right. Question number three, find the area of each triangle. So when we're doing area, again, we should always start with a formula. And in this case, the area of a triangle is base times height divided by two. Based on this diagram, we have a base of 10 meters and a height, which is perpendicular to the base, so 90 degrees, of 14 meters. Multiply those numbers together and then divide by two to get your answer. So, 10 times 14 divided by 2. Well, 10 times 14 is 140, and then you divide that by 2, so you get 70 meters squared. Exact same process, as you can see, the next question, exact same process. Formula first, then substitute in your values, then do your calculations to get your answer. So in this triangle, our base is 6 centimeters, so base is 6 centimeters. Our height is perpendicular to the base again, so 90 degrees to the base, but in this case it's an imaginary line that takes you to the furthest point away from the base, which is 2.2 centimeters. On this question, it was not an imaginary line for the height. This is a special case. This is a right angle triangle. 
So we've got a height that is perpendicular to your base based on the fact that it is a right angled triangle. For all other triangles, your height is going to be an imaginary line. So here now we're going to take 6 centimeters, multiply that by 2.2 centimeters, and we get 6 times 2.2 is 13.2, and we're already at centimeters squared at this point, but we still have to divide by 2 based on our formula here. So when we do that, we're going to get 6.6 .6 centimeters squared for your final answer. Actually, let's do a quick little revisit here. The reason we're dividing by 2 on a triangle, you could draw an imaginary dotted line here. This would create a rectangle that's 14 by 10. The area of the full rectangle we know is length times width. But we can see that our triangle here is only half of that space. We actually have two equal triangles that make up that rectangle. So that's why we divide it by two. We calculate the area for the rectangle and then we divide it by two to give us the triangle that occupies the same footprint. All right, question number four. Find the answer. Five times seven is 35. Nine times four is 36. 24 divided by six is four. 30 divided by 10 is 3, 24 divided by 2 is 12, and 40 divided by 2 is 20. And so that is your 5.3 warm-up.